In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful table using DIY painted waxes. I layered four different blues and two different blacks plus DIY wax. Of course, I used my water bottle to help blend all of the colors all the way through and my paint pixie brushes. Don't you know that just like this table full of layers and full of color, we were created in his image. And we're going to talk today about creativity and how we are all made to be creative. I had this table and I started painting it with skeleton key and then I just got bored and I just left it in my room and my son needed a coffee table and he said he wanted it blue. So I started painting it with Hey Sailor and I knew that I was gonna do a really custom blended look. Let's talk about creativity. What is creativity? What does it mean to be creative? A lot of times we associate creativity with arts, acting, sculpting, um, quilting, painting of course, um, drawing, but creativity is so much more than that. I love DIY paint. It's clay based. It is a chalk paint, but it's not like any other chalk paint. And it has such rich, rich pigment. I love spreading it on and using my water bottle. Have you ever said to yourself, I'm not creative? I want to tell you that that's a lie. God said that you are creative. You might say, well, how did he say that? I've never heard him say that. I've never heard that before. But God created Adam in his image. And he is the great creator. He created everything. And if we're made in his image, then we can be creative also. So here's what it looks like with one coat of Hey Sailor. I didn't worry about getting it perfect. So you may be having trouble believing me. You may not really believe that you can be creative. So I did some Googling and I wanted to share with you a few interesting facts about what creativity is and how you can tap into it. First, I want to tell you creativity is a combination of discipline and childlike spirit. That's a quote from Robert Greene. So you know when you were a child you used to dream and you used to imagine and you used to play make-believe. So you still have that ability. Creativity can be learned, it can be developed, and it's a process that can be managed. One of the most amazing things about DIY paint is that you can reactivate it with water. And as you can see, I'm using my fine mist sprayer and I'm spraying it down before I put on my next layer. I used four different colors of blue. Petal Pusher, Blue Iris, Prom Queen, and Hey Sailor is what I used. I found this website, Creativity at Work. What? Creativity at Work? Yes. What is creativity? and why is a crucial factor for business success. So if you're in the business world, if you're an administrative person, if you are a janitor, if you are uh, um, in maintenance, in, in engineering, can you be creative? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So 
Who told you that you weren't creative? Who told you that you could not be creative? Have you been told that before? Sometimes we tell that to ourselves. I thought that I was not creative. With each new layer, I used a light hand and I used my water bottle and I just kept adding layers. Creativity is characterized by the ability to perceive the world in new ways to find hidden patterns, to make connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena, and to generate solutions. Creativity involves two things, thinking and producing. I used to think my mother's creative. Um, she's very crafty. Um, she didn't always exercise that gift, but I knew that it was in there. My brother is very creative. Um, my little brother can draw like nobody's business. But I thought, you know, that's not me. I didn't know what giftings I had. I didn't know if I had any giftings. Especially once I came to Christ, I would see all of these gifts of other people. And um, I used to love to sing. And I couldn't sing anymore. And I thought that was the only gift that I had. And now I can't sing. So I don't have any gifts. I don't know why I was created. I don't know if that's your story. But if you have ever been told that, or if you told yourself that, I want you to reimagine what creativity is. My youngest daughter is very creative. She's very artistic. She has all kinds of great gifts. But my oldest son, can draw and now he's in Hollywood and he is using his gift of to make people laugh he's he's making movies he's using his gift to create his own movies to create scripts and I'm so proud of him he's amazing even though I was blending the colors on the table I wanted to make my own custom color for this particular layer and it's so easy to make your own color and then I realized I am creative. We are all made uniquely and we're all made with a purpose. We're made to do it our way. And so it doesn't have to look like anybody else. It doesn't have to um, be a mold. So I want you to know today and I want you to accept that you are creative. And so here I think isn't it funny how God is? God has a sense of humor, if you didn't know it. Here I am starting a creative business. I am the owner and artist of Chalk It Up With Lisa. And I'm loving it and I'm owning it and I'm having fun. All I did was pour out Hey Sailor, Blue Iris and Black Velvet onto this plate and I added water in this scenario and I mixed it. Then I still went ahead and added water to my brush because I really wanted a thin coat of this layer. We can tap into that creativity in so many different ways. It's not just the arts. If you are a mother of children, you have to be creative in how you juggle all of those children and each personality, all of their wants, all of their desires, all of their schedules. You have to be creative. You have to be creative to budget. Hello? <laughs> like, how do you juggle all of the finances, whether it's for your business or if you're a CPA? Just like clay dries a little bit lighter, so does DIY paint because it's clay-based. And so when it's wet, it's a little bit darker and richer. I wanted to have multiple layers because I knew that I was going to sand back and reveal the under layers. And I continued to spray and use a light hand and add more texture and add layers. There's creativity in organization. There's creativity in administrative offices. There's creativity in engineering. There's creativity in everything, in, in taking care of your house and organizing your house and decorating your house. In psychology today, it says 
what is creativity? An act of creativity can be grand and inspiring, such as creating a beautiful painting or designing an innovative new product, but an idea need not be artistic or world-changing to count as creative. Life requires daily acts of ingenuity and novel workarounds. And then we talk about that. In your home, you have to be creative. How do you get this kid and this kid to get along? How do you get all of the schedules to um, come together and at the end of the day have peace? Um, in this sense, almost everyone possesses some amount of creativity. Research shows that creative thinking involves making new connections between different regions of the brain, which is accomplished by cultivating divergent thinking skills and deliberately exposing oneself to new experiences and to learning. What new thing do you want to be surrounded by, learn this year? Think about that. While research psychologists are interested in tapping innovative thinking, clinical psychologists sometimes encourage patients to use artistic expression as a way to confront difficult feelings. It is in everyone's interest to nurture creative impulses, regardless of one day's job. Okay. And listen to this. This is again from Psychology Today. It is in everyone's interest to nurture creative impulses, regardless of one's day job. So if you're an accountant, you have to be creative. You have to nurture that creativity inside of yourself. How can someone go about shaking up the way that they think? Creativity is associated with many factors, including conducive environments, ideal collaborators, personality traits, spirituality, and just a hint of serendipity. Finding the right combination of these isn't always easy, but the outcomes are well worth it. So, can you be creative in a hostile environment? Toxic relationships? No. When you're under pressure? No. You have to find the right balance. I'm going to link two TED Talks that I Googled and I, and I listened to and I watched that were about creativity. One is a little bit more scientific and one is from someone who worked at Disney. We all know that Disney, Imagineers and that team are one of the most creative groups of people and businesses that are around. And so I wanna encourage you today that if you've ever thought, I'm not creative, I can't do that. I want you to challenge yourself and rethink what creativity means. You have to be creative in your outpouring of love. Every person has to be loved differently. And so it's up to you to be creative in how you show your love. I encourage you to try DIY paint. You don't have to have all the colors. You can have one color, but I bet you'll have fun. I hope that you'll go on this journey of reinventing who you are as a creative being. That you will take on that ownership of, I am creative. I have the ability to be creative because I have been made in my father's image. I use paint pixie brushes. I love them. I feel like they go hand in hand with DIY paint. DIY paint retailers do have a synthetic version of the paint pixie brushes and I do have them available at Finders Keepers. While I'm painting, I don't like to wash out my brushes, so I wrap them in saran wrap for my next round. You know, there's uh, we used to have this thing in our church called K365. It was kindness 365 days. How random acts of kindness. How can you do that in a creative fashion to bless others? How can you use your gifts in a creative way to be a blessing to the people that are around you? A lot of times people are scared. They don't know what color to use or how to do it. Just go for it. It's just paint. You can always paint over it and add more layers. How can you be creative at your day job? How can you be creative every single day? And it's easy to have fun with DIY paint. It's easy because the paint does it all. I just have to play with it. And then my creativity is stirred and it comes up and it comes forth and then eggs me on to do greater and bigger and try new things. And sometimes it doesn't work out and I just keep going at it. And then ultimately 
it's done and I'm proud of it. It's time to just let go and let God. This is a brand new year. It's time to focus. It's time to plan and have goals and understand that we are made in God's image, that we are unique and God is proud of his creation. And so we are an extension of him and we are to go forth and create in our own way to be the person that is unique and is special. He's, he calls us a peculiar people, a people that are called out, meant to stand out. So how can you be creative today? What can you do to shine your light in a creative way? Is it by writing? Is it in your Facebook post being creative to be positive? Is it, is it in a way to be creative to encourage other people? And so it's not an, always a simple process. It's not always quick, but it is rewarding because at the end of the day, whether you fail, whether you succeed, it's a lesson that you've learned. Taking the time to think about these things helps us to grow. Remember, this is a brand new year. We all have goals. We have things that we want to accomplish, but one of those things needs to be personal growth. And if you will tap into the creativity that God has placed inside of you, you will see that at the end of the year, even in just a few months, you will have grown and you will have matured and you would have conquered because the moment that you start feeling that creativity, those juices flowing, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to look back and be like, look at what I've accomplished. I can do this thing. And it's going to fill you up and it's going to refuel you. So I pray that in 2020, you discover who you were truly meant to be. And stop believing the lies that the enemy wants to say about you. So whether you're painting, whether you are doing whatever it is that you do, do it with the best of your ability. Do it with the thought that not only how can I do this creatively, but what are the what are the essential things that I have to do? God, give me new strategies, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing it. That's creativity. Download genius ideas. Help me with witty ideas. He will do it. He will answer that prayer because you're lining up with him. And he is the ultimate creator. Our paint line is not toxic. There's no latex. There's no plastic. It's amazing. This is what our... I mean, look how easy that's pulling up. It's buttery soft. It's so, so amazing. Can you see it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wax and I'm gonna put it on the lid because I don't want my wax to get contaminated. I don't want it to turn blue. Now I will tint my wax occasionally and I might do it. In this case, I might put a little bit of blue but I'm always gonna do that separately. And so as you can see, I'm gonna take a small amount of the wax. You can really see how the DIY wax enhances and brings back the color. You can see when it's wet and you can see when it's dry. Once it dries, it does get a little bit lighter in color. But while it's wet, it's activated. But DIY wax is buttery smooth and it's so easy to use. Again, I'm using my Paint Pixie wax brush to really get it on there. And as you can see, even the wood comes to life. Can creativity be learned? Yes, it can be learned. Creativity begins with the foundation of knowledge, learning a discipline and mastering a way of thinking. You can learn to be creative by implementing, exploring, questioning assumptions, using imagination, and synthesizing information. Learning to be creative is akin to learning a sport. It requires practice to develop the right muscles and supportive environment in which to flourish.
Before I waxed it, I actually took a sanding sponge to it and I went over a lot of the corners and a lot of the areas to bring back the wood, to bring back some of the layers that were underneath. I left some areas with texture and then the most of the top of the table, I made it really, really smooth to the touch. And I love doing that. I don't always do it. A lot of times I like to use a baby wipe to bring back some of the under colors and, and the wood. In this case, I wanted to have smooth and textured areas. But you can see it's the wax is still wet, but you can see how it's coming to life and the wood is vibrant, the colors are vibrant, and the DIY wax gives you a very, very durable finish. I went ahead and I did two layers of wax. I let the first dry, and then a couple of hours later, I did another coat. The next day, I went back and I buffed it. In this case, I used a lint-free cloth. So you have to have grit. You have to have drive, tenacity to get to that finish line. And you can do that, whether it's painting, whether it's trying something new, whether it's in your home. We've talked about all of the areas where you can be creative. You can do this. Look at all the texture. Here, the DIY wax is dry and you can see the sheen on it. That's from buffing it. You don't have to buff it, but I like to do that because I like to see that sheen and I like to feel it nice and smooth. And it really, I think, helps it to have a great finish and a great durable finish at that. I used clear wax, but we also have a dark and a black wax. And you can also make your own custom wax with any one of our paints and the clear wax. Click those links and hear it from a different perspective and how you can take ordinary problems, ordinary situations, and flip the script so that you can use the creativity that God has placed inside of you to achieve new things, to go different places, to change the trajectory of your life, to achieve your dreams and see them come to pass. You want your plans to succeed? Let me tell you, it's so simple. Proverbs 16.3 Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Another translation says, commit your activities to the Lord and your plans will be achieved. Yet another translation says, commit to the Lord whatever you do and He will establish your plans. If you want to be more creative, ask Him to stir up the creativity that He's already placed inside of you so that you can achieve your plans and your dreams. If you want to get your hands on some DIY paint, if you've never tried it before, you are gonna to want to try it. You can access the DIY paint website and find the DIY paint retailer nearest you. The website is DIYpaint.co. If you're in the Madisonville, Kentucky area, I've had people drive as far as an hour and a half away to get their hands on DIY paint. Feel free to do so. You can go to Finders Keepers in Madisonville. My booth is 109 and that's where you can find DIY paint and waxes as well as the DIY paint brushes. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below and I will answer them. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Chalk It Up with Lisa. And don't forget, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get the updated videos. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got inspired. And I hope you understand that God made you to be creative. So hit me up. Let me know what God spoke to you and how you feel about being a creative being. I can't wait to hear from you and to connect with you. Have a blessed day.